and you'll feel Ooh. pop right in there. See that go right in real nice? Yeah. Now we're gonna go from cast iron to PVC. There's several different ways you can do this. One way is you can let an oak a new piece of PVC into the joint if you really want to. I know a lot of guys that still do that. I don't really do it. Another way is you can put a four inch gasket inside the hub and then you can bevel your PVC and put the, four, the PVC right into the four inch gasket or they make this groovy fitting which makes it a thousand times easier. This is like an SDR push gasket by four inch PVC. And it basically goes in, it's already nice and beveled. It goes in real nice and easy. But for the sake of this video, I'm gonna show you a little bit harder way to do because these you have to buy at the plumbing supply house. You can't find them everywhere. So I'll show you a little bit harder way to do it. We got our four inch gasket for a four inch cast iron. Get it nice and warm, make sure it's not super cold. And then all you do is you put it in here. You kind of just get it started. And then you take your hammer. Bang it in the rest of the way. Make sure it's nice and flush everywhere. Like flush on top of the cast iron here. Yeah. And you can tell it's nice and in. Another thing is if you really want to cheat and you're having really a lot of trouble with getting the four inch in, you can actually cut a rib off the, the gasket. So instead of having three ribs on the gasket, you'll have two. Easier to push in, still makes a seal. But I try not to do that unless I'm like really having trouble or something. Next, we're gonna go with our PVC. Really, I only need like a piece this high right now coming out of the, the uh, four inch, but it's always easier when you have a longer piece shoving it in, you have more leverage. So like if I really wanted to, I could get like a six inch piece, you have more leverage to push it in, and then you just cut it down more right. afterwards. But I'm not gonna go a whole big piece like that. I'm gonna get this little piece. I got my grinder here. You're gonna wanna bevel this really good because it's a pain to push in. If it's not beveled real well, you can use a grinder or a file or whatever. You should, I always use a grinder because you gotta bevel it a lot. So this is a little bit tedious, but you gotta do it. I'll take the factory side of the cut, which I think is this one. We got our piece nice and beveled, about an inch up. All I'm doing is beveling the pipe to make it a little bit skinnier so it fits in the hub a little bit better. What I'm gonna do here, put a piece of two by four here so I can let, I can take a tunnel bar and leverage off and push the piece in. Rich might need to give me a hand when I go to push it in. Sometimes it takes two people, it's a little bit easier. So that two by four is just temporary. It's just temp. Sometimes you gotta do it by muscle. If you don't have something to leverage off of, Sometimes you just gotta lube it up real good and get two people to go push down on it. It's, you know, it gets a little tough, but I have leverage here, so it makes life a lot easier. So we're gonna take our beveled piece. All I'm doing is putting glue on this for lubrication. This is not making our seal. Our seal is the gasket. All this is doing is giving me a little lube on it. You can take dish soap, pipe dope, whatever you wanna do to lube it up. Sex lube, Vaseline, I don't care what you use. You're just trying to get this pug in the, in the hub. So you want to kind of get it started. Grab the old tunnel bar. Oh, almost had it. You got to make sure this pipe goes in straight. See how it's cockeyed right now? I want to straighten it out. And you'll feel Ooh. pop right in there. Seen that go right in real nice? Yeah. Great success. I can even feel inside. Make sure you want to make sure this PVC bottoms out into the bottom of that hub. So I mean I felt it, but I'm just gonna double check. Put the hand down and whatever you want to do. Bottomed out real nice. Take your temporary bracing back off. And now that I'm in the hub, I can make my cut for whatever I want. So I want to put this T in here as slow as possible to pick up the laundry down the line. I'll put it like that. I'll mark it and then we can make our tie and we go from there. That's how you tie into four inch cast iron with PVC.